It was just under anesthesia. It's not the kind of thing we like to talk about. I'm like mad because this looks so good. <laughs> oh my gosh. Ryan and I are playing chess. These showers. <laughs> Hey, good morning, everybody. <laughs> I'm a little bit out of it, I have to say. I was just under anesthesia. Um, I had a routine test. Not the most fun thing to prep for, but once you go under, it's glorious. <laughs> I had no idea if you've ever been under anesthesia. Sometimes I think people have an adverse effect, but um, for me, it was the best sleep I've ever had. <laughs> the good news is the results came back 100% normal. Very healthy, knock on wood and praise God. Yes. So Mike's picking me up because there's not a chance I could drive. <laughs> so now I can eat. My prep for it was I wasn't allowed to eat all day yesterday. So I might have been a teensy bit grumpy. And then you have to... <laughs> Thanks, Mike. Um, so anyways, I couldn't eat all day yesterday, and now I am ready for a meal. So I think we're going to go out to lunch. The kids have, today's Wednesday, so the kids have school just in the morning. So I'm going to go home and grab them once I recover. And maybe I'll have Brennan drive, but um, or Mike. But we're going to try to go grab a family lunch. Also, um, in our county, they have recently um, shut down the restaurants for indoor and outdoor dining, and it's devastating for the hundreds of thousands of restaurant employees. It is right before Christmas, so today is the last day that they're allowed to be open. They're open till five. So we're gonna sneak in a lunch to try, try to support our local businesses. Mike and I went out to dinner on Monday to do the same thing. Like the, the community is really rallying around our local businesses to try to um, give them some support before Christmas. So, how long did you say that? Anesthesia? Gonna... I have no idea. I didn't ask that question. Uh, I did ask, however, if I could have a prescription for it <laughs> because it was great. <laughs> All right, you guys. So I'm going to. Um, Sign off for right now. I might take a little nap on the way home and then we'll grab. Oh, it's snowing out. Did I already mention that? I did. It's supposed to snow today. And then they said it wasn't going to snow. But now there's snow coming down, but it's just a little bit. So it's hard. I hesitate to even film it because it's like onesie twosies. But if it gets bigger, I will definitely film it for you guys because it'll be our first snowfall of the season. And it would be fun if we had to wait Christmas. I don't know if that's going to happen. But there's some accumulate dreamy of a white Christmas. Christmas. It's supposed to accumulate north of us, but all right, anyway, that's my um, <laughs> that's my update. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys soon. I'm gonna go have a nap now. <laughs> Holy cow, you guys, it is snowing. Look at this. Oh my gosh, look, can you see that? First snow to see that it's very exciting. Brennan's gonna drive us today. Dad's staying home. He has a meeting, a Zoom meeting, but Brennan's gonna take me and Katie and Ryan to lunch. Oh, where is he? Oh, he's sleeping. <laughs> talk in the news lately about health and health care and a lot of health talk lately and you know I just turned 50 this year and Mike just had a big birthday too so we um 
it's not very important that we take better care of our health. We, t we work out, both of us, um, at Michael more regularly than I do. Good job, Mike. I sort of go in spits and spats, but I always try to make sure I eat healthy. But beyond that, we need to, um, Mike and I decided that we need to like really take a deeper delve into our health and that's where Ancestry Health comes in. Ancestry Health empowers families to make better decisions about their health for generations to come. And we partnered with them on this video to talk a little bit about Ancestry Health and how it is going to help us and can totally help you learn more about your health and your family's health and it's so important for us because well i'm sure it's important for everybody just like you guys like our our children are in all kinds of sports and and we want to just make sure that they are set up moving forward to be happy and healthy and um you know we growing up we like sort of knew our ancestors like what their health conditions were a little bit but there was really nothing we could do about it you just sort of knew oh well Aunt Jenny had breast cancer and well, I guess I should go get my mammogram. Okay, that's one thing, but there's more than that. You know, there's, there's, there's more than that that they can now test for. So Ancestry Health is a testing kit. It's actually the same family as Ancestry DNA, which we have not done yet, but I did buy it for my mom for Christmas. So I'm very excited about that. Don't tell her. <laughs> So anyway, this is of that same family, but that that's DNA, which talks about your where you come from. And this is Ancestry Health, which is also DNA, but it gets into more of the health side of it and what types of um, genes you have that are prone to any type of health concerns or health conditions. And you know what I love about it? Hmm. It's information. Yes. And information is power, and you can decide how you use the information, but at least knowing is Good. I agree with you, Mike. Like to know, like I'm one of those people. Like I don't want to go to a um, to a, what do you call it when they, do, they read your tea leaves or do oh, your hands? It's, uh, What's that called? Uh, you go to a fortune teller. A fortune teller. <laughs> I do not want that. I do not want a fortune teller. But I do want to know about things that I can do something about. Fortune tellers, like they tell you stuff. I don't think you do anything about it. Right. Right. That's yes. it. But this is like you find out what inf like information about your DNA and again what your genes are prone to, conditions your genes are prone to have what to focus on what not to focus on I love that so we got these kits and we're gonna go ahead and, and do them but one of the things that we want to share with you is the reports that come out of this like once you do the kit and you send it in the reports that come back show you all kinds of information and the three big things that they talk about are uh, breast cancer colon cancer and heart disease, which I have to say, so today is kind of a big day for me because not only did I also have a mammogram, I also shh, had a colonoscopy. I know and we don't talk about that. It's not the kind of thing we like to talk about, but you kind of have, like, it shouldn't be taboo, sure. right? We should talk about it's all it, home. right? It's all about your health. It's so smart. Very smart it is, is, it is. It's not a fun thing to do, but it's something that you have to go do to, or you should go do to make sure that you are staying on top of whatever um, concerns that you might have. And you know, again, it's just information. It's good information to be able to have you make great choices. Exactly. So once you do this, you get these reports. This is where like my family is prone to cancer and to high blood pressure. And Mike's family is also prone to cancer. So those are that's good information for us to know. And so when you go to your doctor, um, oftentimes your doctor doesn't delve so deeply as into the tests as Ancestry Health would. Um, so this is a good starting point too, to grab your reports and, and so you know what to talk about with your doctor. So I know you just said that, but I just want to reiterate that point because, because it's, you know, the, I go to the doctor and they ask me this whole list of questions and I'm like, mm, I think so. I don't know about that one. I don't know about that one, but if I could show my reports, she'd be like, oh, okay, well, let's do this, this, and this, you know, so that's good. Well, let's show them what you do, right? Excellent. So this is the kit. It comes like this. This is just one kit. We have two. And these are the steps right there. Three really easy steps. So you register and activate your kit, and then you collect your saliva. So it's a little, um, I can show you in here. It's <laughs> kind of cool. It's a nice little gift too, actually, if you wanted to get it for somebody for Christmas or- It's like a little chocolate box. <laughs> it's like a little box of chocolates, because you never know what you're gonna Boom. get. <laughs> so anyway, in here is this little guy. And if you open him up, and then you put your saliva in there, you spit, 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 and then you put this little activation thing in, shake it up, put it in this little return box, and it, within four to six weeks, you get your results back. Huh. Yeah, so it's pretty quick. Excellent. Yeah. 
Um, you guys can click on the link below if you too would like to try um, Ancestry D, D, or, I'm sorry, Ancestry Health, um, because I highly recommend um, everybody know more about your health because they say an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. Boom! An ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. Uh, so. You guys make a um, a New Year's resolution today or just a resolution today that you will not only take better care of your health, I'm in that too, I'm gonna do the same thing, mm -hmm. but you will strive to learn more and know more about your health so you can um, pr potentially prevent anything, you know, any situations that you could have prevented, right? That's smart. It is very smart. Good job, babe. Thank you, right back at you, Mike. Let's do it right now. Let's be healthy, okay, we'll do it. So again, click the link in the description below to um, access uh, Ancestry Health and get your kit today. All right. Ryan Ardo uh, growing rapidly now that um, he's lost a few inches because he's got a haircut. Mm -hmm. But we think that uh, things have gone terribly right here. <laughs> for so, one. For one. Here we are. Um, okay, well, that was 2016. This was 2017. 2017, 2018, 2018, 2019, 2019, 2020. This was February 2020. This was June 29th, 2020. 2020. And now let's see where I am. What? Anyways, it's Katie. That's Brennan. That's Brennan's last one. Was 2019. Oh, wow. All right, give it a. Right, where was your last one? Right here. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see. Oh, it's not even close. Mm -hmm. You're crushing it. Mm. Oh my gosh. Alright, let's do the measuring. Yeah, I gotta measure it up. <laughs> Hi, yeah, man. This is killer. Yeah, right? yeah this is really very killer. exciting. Yeah, we need something to, I think we need something to write on too. Just lost. Oh it. my gosh. Oh my gosh. You want me to go get a pencil? Yes, please. Okay, hold on. Up straight. It's not stocking feet. Alright, good luck. You've got about good. Okay, and L, mark it off. Okay. Oh my gosh. Wait a minute, right there? Mm -hmm. No way. Where was this other one? Right there. Oh my gosh, you went from there to there. Wait, what, what date is that? That's June, June. 29th. <laughs> All right, don't tell Brennan, he'll it's be almost really bummed six, out. Almost six months. Oh my gosh, how many, okay, how many inches is that? That's three inches. And three this inches is 12? 12. 20, 12, 16? Uh, wait. Yeah, 12, 16. That's a little over two inches. Yeah. Wait, did you put the inches up here? In six months? Yes. What? Like this. That's ridiculous. Oh, no. Yeah, stop writing that. Oh. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's, it's like two and a half. Almost two and, almost. and a half inches. Yeah. That's half. crazy. Let's see how actually tall I am. Okay. <laughs> it's about there. Let's say it's about there. I am five feet three inches and a half. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. Ryan, unbelievable. How tall are you? Five three and a half. Five three. What are you? Five nine. Five, nine. Five, eight. You sure? Five nine. <laughs> Turn around, let me see. Mike, right. Dad, you have shoes on, by the way. Yeah, he has shoes on. I'm Sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm third in the family, though. Yes, you are. Bad luck. I'm officially the short one. <laughs> but you're cute. Thanks. Oh, congratulations, oh, Ryan. Good you. job. Sweet. Appreciate that. Ryan, you're way. On my way. Keep eating, buddy. Let's yeah. do it. Ryan and I are playing chess. Uh, Ryan, show that thing on the wall again. That was really cool. Right? I don't know if it'll work because my light's on. Hold on. Look, you can see it on the wall. How cool is that? We've been inspired by the Queen's Gambit. Well, I... I've already been playing a lot of chess before you started watching the Queen's Gambit, but we're not going to get into that. <laughs> um, yeah, so Brian's we're playing pretty chess. darn good at chess. Um, um, he's beating me right now. Yeah. And um, the power went out. That's really why we started filming. Yeah, yeah. If the you power are, are playing chess in the dark. With, <laughs> yeah. Oh, hey! hey! All right, it's been on and off three times in the past like five minutes. Cross your fingers, everybody. Cross your fingers, everybody. All right, here we go. Good luck, Ryan. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Hey, it's mom. Oh, look, I'm with my little girl. Look at she has her and Christmas her. collar on. Do you see it? I'm not giving her any airtime. Alice. <laughs> I'm still bitter. 
Okay. Yeah. Alice is down here. She's yep. very cute. And she has her little Blur Christmas it. Color Editor, on. dad. Dad, blur Alice. You don't know a Christmas caller, do you, Ryan? No. I don't see Alice. No. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know who you're talking about. And every time yeah, she says cats. And every time she says the word Alice, bleep it out. <laughs> <laughs> what what made Ryan's you have it, Mom? asking what made me happy today was definitely um getting my health screenings done i was happy about that nice and um then i was very happy to go out to lunch with you guys that, oh, was, really that fun. Really was fun and one more happy thing remember we told you that outdoor that we were that the restaurants were going to close um mm -hmm. after our dinner today after our lunch today as it turns out a judge overturned our County executive, and now the restaurants are staying open. Woo! Yay! It's that made me happy for all those people out there who need a job and need to work and right. want to work. All the small I, businesses are staying open. That's a great thing. It's a great yes, thing. Yep. yes, because they're following all the protocols and doing what they need to do, and they get to stay open. Exactly. So that makes me very happy. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, Brennan, you're doing schoolwork. What made you happy today? What made me happy today was going to lunch. That's what, I, that's what I was thinking. Not lunch, per se, not but brunch, not breakfast, but kind of brunch. Lunch. Oh yeah, no, for sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. Brunch, lunch. Um, Dad. Yeah. No, 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 no. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Dad has made himself very comfortable on yes. the floor here. Yes. What made you happy today? Thank you for asking. What made me happy today was getting mom to all her appointments safely, happily. Oh, that's great. great. Good job. That's mom. great. Uh huh. Thank you. All right, awesome. If you guys were wondering, uh, what made me happy today was going to brunch slash lunch slash breakfast. Uh, and. And the storm weather. I like the storm weather. I'm sorry. Yeah, we had a little bit of a storm. It was supposed to be a snowstorm, but it ended up just being slush, which is fine. It still snowed. I love when it snows. Um, Cozy. Yeah, and that's the other thing that made me happy today, just walking outside and seeing kind of like the. there At the beginning, there were snowflakes just gracefully gliding down. It's fun to see. Um. How about Katie? What? Katie. No one really cares about that. Oh, okay. I don't right. think, um... <laughs> no, don't, here we go. I think we can survive <laughs> without it. Yeah. We're about to watch the Queen's Gambit, which is a chess thing. And by the way, me and Mom played chess today. And I beat her three times. Oh! Uh, enough with that. I'm not going to speak on that, though. Yeah. Uh, what made you happy today? Oh, I'm talking to Amanda right now. Oh, for real? That's yeah. tough. Maybe happy to do talking to Amanda. That's great. All yeah. right. So does Amanda want to say what made her happy today? Oh gosh, talking to Katie. Talking to Amanda. That's great. All right. Nice. This is good friendship. All right. <laughs> Peace out. <laughs> so comment below, man. You guys have a day, and we'll see you tomorrow. Peace out.